my, there's so much in here. I don't even know where to start. Nothing gets Catherine going quite like shopping. Oh, this is really nice. I could use this. For her, money is no object. How much is this? Oh, that's $300. Isn't it gorgeous? It sure is. But not because she's rich. It sure is. That's right. The sweet and innocent granny is really a shoplifter. If you saw an elderly woman shoplifting to her heart's content, what would you do? We based our uncommon criminal on Doris Payne, an 85-year-old jewelry thief so notorious, there's even a documentary about her. I've been a jewel thief for many, many years. But at the Image Gallery in Wayne, New Jersey, will our thief get away scot-free? What kind of batteries does this take? I don't work here. Neither. OK, it's a young lady that's going to help me. Um, it already comes with a battery. Oh, good, OK. He sees Catherine place the clock in her bag, but doesn't say a word. You like that? It's good. Not like me. He's all smiles. This is beautiful. That is, until Catherine strikes again. And with that, he warns a store employee, who's one of our actors. She dropped her things into her purse. You sure she did that? You showed her She may have the best of intentions, but just be aware. OK. It's so hard to believe. She's so nice looking. I no, I put not say anything bad. It's an easy way to carry it. She yeah. I'll be coming back here. But when she heads for the door, he's out of the chair and in hot pursuit. Ma'am. Yes, yes, yes. You got to pay for those things. I beg your pardon? You Who are you talking to? I'm talking to you. No. You put four things into your bag that you forgot to pay. What four things? That's not oh, your I business. I have to say it's... something. It is my business. No, it's not your you... business. Well, so... let's discuss it with the man. No, I'm not going to discuss it with nobody. Excuse me. I'll just, do, honest, I'll just discuss it later. Oh, we should break it, right? Hi, sir. I'm John Quinones. And this is part of a TV show called What Would You Do? Oh. She's an actress. <laughs> Tell us what was going through your mind. I grew up in the retail business, in my father's store, and I learned to watch people. Why not let her get away with it? It's not the thing to do. I just yeah. did what I thought was right. I deserve this. I have to treat I'm myself sure sometimes. Back in the store, this volunteer firefighter is about to sign up to fight crime. I'm just going to take it. After seeing Catherine bag that necklace, he's on the case. That's cute. Keeping close watch on the suspect, he moves in. And when the moment is right, Have a nice day. Oh, no, no, no. He locks the door. She just filled her bag with three things. With what well, things? You just put stuff from on the shelf and the necklace in your bag. I, I didn't take I anything from this store. Why would you treat an old lady like this? I'm an elderly person. I'm a young person. Do you treat your grandmother like this? Hell no, because my grandmother wouldn't do what you just did. Time to tell one of New Jersey's bravest that he can stand down. What's going on here? I'm John Quinones. <laughs> Come over here. You're amazing. Man, that's so sick. <laughs> you weren't going to let her go out? No, I would not. When you put things in your bag that you didn't pay for, you know, you can't leave the store. And this next woman agrees. When Catherine puts those sticky fingers to work, she immediately blows the whistle. She just took two things and put them in her purse. A bracelet and a watch. Oh my God. What should I do? I'll tell your boss or something. Making sure Catherine doesn't make a run for it, she heads to the front door and stands guard. 
I don't think you should go. I'm gonna go, baby. I have to. Sir. It's she time for me to go. Things. She just took something off of there. She took something off of there. Would you be quiet, please? That's not right. It doesn't matter how old, what she looks like, who she is, female or male. It just isn't right. This is nice. We roll one last time. And that's when we meet Lexi. When Catherine does the deed, she looks stunned. Do you know what kind of batteries this takes? I do not. She tries some whispered counseling. I'll just. I'm sorry, I can't hear too good. He said, did you just put the, the clock in your purse? Don't tell anybody. Don't say nothing. It's cheap, so don't. It's not. It's not. Cheap. Catherine considers her advice, but only for a moment. Finally, Lexi tries to at least minimize the damage. Why don't you let me just take them back in? No, no. I don't want to see you get in trouble. Let me, well, let me give you one then, and I'm going to keep the other one. What was the other thing you took? You took something jangly. That's the cheapest thing. They ain't going to miss that. They won't even. Back the clock and no. jangle. OK. Here, sure take that thing. back. Thank you, darling. You're an angel. Thank you. Oh, my God! <laughs> no freaking <pretty> way! <laughs> no way! <laughs> Holy <laughs> 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 All right, uh, yeah. Are you like a private investigator or something? No, I just want to see her get in trouble. But she seems so kind of out of sorts and you know, she didn't seem like a thief. I thought to see her like arrested and taken away in handcuffs would have been difficult, so. This is Catherine. Come Excellent. over, Catherine. All right, ask her if she's got another Do you clock. have another clock in there, Catherine? I don't know. <laughs>